All right. Question number five. It's simultaneous equation. Uh, you can see that you have a nonlinear and one linear uh, equations. So what we can do, uh, we cannot use the elimination method. We have to do the substitution method. So if I take y equal to 4 minus x, I'm, I'm using this linear equation over here. Okay. So I make the y subject. So in this equations, I'm going to replace the value of y by 4 minus x. So 2 x square plus 3 y is going to be 4 minus x y square. So whole square equal to 7 x y is going to be 4 minus x. Okay. If I had x in only one place, then I would have make x is the subject. Or uh, if I have uh, had y in one space, one of the terms, then I would have uh, make uh, y is the subject, okay? But in this case, you can see that x in two different places and y is two different places. So it doesn't matter which one I do first, okay? So uh, if I take the bracket off on this one, if we want to put the formula here, so it's actually a minus b whole square formula. So a square plus this is minus minus 2ab plus b square. Okay, if it's plus, it's going to be plus. I hope you know that. So 4 square is 16 minus 2 4 is 8x plus x square. And if you take the bracket off on this side, on the right hand side, so it's going to be 4 7 is 28x minus 7x square. All right, so 2x square plus 3 16 is 48 minus 24x plus 3x square. Bring all this over here. I need to make uh, quadratic equations on one side and zero on the other side. So I can use the quadratic formula or middle term break, whatever it comes handy, okay? 2x squared plus 3x squared, that's 5x squared, plus 7 squared, that's gonna be 12x squared. Now, minus 24, 8, uh, minus 24x minus 28x, that's supposed to be 30, 50, 52, but let me share. Let us be sure it's going to be 52. Yeah. So negative 52x and 48. I have only one place. So that's going to be plus 48 equal to 0. Uh, I, 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 I cannot take 3 common over here. So 12, uh, 4 would be fine for all of these 3 terms. If I take 4 common, it's going to be 3x squared minus 13x plus 12 equal to 0. So if I take 4 to that side, it's x 3x, 3x squared minus 13x plus 12 equal to 0 divided by 4. That's nothing but 0. Now this is kind of middle term break. So what I'm going to do, 3 times 12. So 3 times 12, that's going to be 36, positive 36. So I have to have positive 36. Okay. And I'm going to take a, a pair of factors that when I add it, it's supposed to be my, minus 13. So let's try this too. So 6, 6, it doesn't work. If I take by 4, that's going to be 3, and that's 12, uh, 3, 3 is a 9. Okay, so, so uh, 6 divided by 2 is 3, then this is 12. It doesn't work. If I take this one, if I divide this one by 3, so it's going to be 4, 3, 3 is a 9. Okay, if I add this, it's going to be negative 13. Okay, um, I need positive 36. So negative, negative, that's going to make uh, positive 36. So 3x square minus 4x minus 9x plus 12 equal to 0. Taking x common, so it's going to be 3x uh, minus 4. If I take uh, 3 common over here, so 3x minus 4 equal to 0. Taking 3x minus 4 common, 3x minus 4 and x minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, x is going to be 3 and over here is going to be 4 by 3. So, from here, when x equal to 3, y equals to 4 minus 3 equal to 1. So in answer, we got x, y, 
one pair of them is three the solution is three and one and when x equal to four by three y equals to four minus four by three the 12 minus that so is going to be eight by three so another pair of solution four by three eight by three that's our final answer okay that's three all right next one okay question number six solve six to the bar <coughs> excuse me x minus two equal to one by four now i cannot make six and one by four same base so i have to use logarithm okay if i had e then i would have taken uh, natural logarithm ln on both sides but since i don't have it i'll take just uh, natural logarithm okay um, common logarithm that's base 10 so log 6 to the power x minus 2 equal to log uh, just to make it simplify you, you can do it or leave it as it is doesn't matter 1 by 4 actually 0 0.25 okay and this gonna come up front okay it's uh, x minus 2 then log 6 equal to log 0 0.25 so over here x minus 2 and this side will be log 0 0.25 and then log 6 if I calculate this, it's going to be uh, uh, rounding it off uh, if I carry it to some place else. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for the last minute, okay? So it's log 0 0.25 divided by log 6 and minus 2 becomes plus 2. Now I can use my calculator, okay? It's uh, log 0.25, that's supposed to give you a negative value, divided by less than 1 is negative value uh log uh, six i got negative zero point that and plus two the answer would be 1.23 um to three uh significant figures or correct to uh, nearest uh, to, uh, ne correct to two decimal places okay next one okay i have logarithm good thing is all of them has base a so this is pretty straightforward so log base a all the addition one i'll just multiply that 2y squared then this one is times 8 and this one is times 16y minus 1 i'll just divide it it's 64y and this two gonna go on the top on the uh, power of uh, 4 so log base 4 a uh, base a 4 to the power 2 now log with the same base both side it's, uh, and we have equal signs so the number must be equal so therefore 2y squared times 8 times 16y over 64y equal to 4 squared is 16 okay now i can cross this 16 and 16 1 but it doesn't make this one zero it makes one so be careful with that 6 8 8 is 64 so 2 4 is and then i can cross this y y out okay so on the top i have y square and this one i'm gonna have four so if i take the square root on both sides it's gonna be plus minus two so i got two values of y one is positive two one is negative two but since this is log i have to check if i can take negative two or not see that over here i don't have any problem two y square so i can take negative one, two over here but problem is over here if i take negative two then this is going to be log base a 16 times minus 2 is going to be negative 32 that's where it's going to make um, uh, inadmissible we are not going to be allowed to calculate this one or over here so therefore y cannot be equal to minus 2 final answer is y equal to 2 only one answer okay that's going to be sorry about that okay that's uh, y equal to i drop something y equal to 2 okay let's do the next one Okay, question number seven, and this is a uh, binomial expansion with power n. So I have one plus two x to the power n, and it says that the coefficient of x to the power four is 10 times the coefficient of x squared. So according to the question, what is saying that whatever the coefficient of x to the power four, that equals to coefficient of x to the power two times 10. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the formula n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 to give me 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
and then 4 factorial. So 1 to the power n minus 4, that's 1. Uh, I'll just write it down, for, I think, over here. Okay, uh, n minus 4 and 2. I don't need to write down x because it's coefficient of that. So it's 4 directly over here. And this one 10 times x to the power 2. So n, n minus 1 and below here 2 factorial and again 1 n minus 2 and 2 to the power 2 directly 2. Okay, I'll keep that one as it is. I don't need 1. So n, n minus 1, this n, n minus 1 going to be cross out from this side. So I can multiply this one. n square minus uh, 5n plus 6. And this is going to be 4 times 3 times 2. I don't need to write down 1, but just write it down. Okay. Uh, uh, 1 to the power anything is 1. And 2 to the power 4 is 16. Equal to 10 times n n minus 1 and 2 factorial means 2 times 1 1 to the power anything is 1 so i can skip that it's 4 okay now this 4 and this one cross out 4 this 4 this 4 cross out this 2 this 2 cross out this n this n n minus 1 n minus 1 so what do i have now i have on the top in the numerator on this side n square minus 5n plus 6 and 3 times 10 is 30. Okay, so if I bring it to this side, n square minus 5n minus 24 equal to 0. You can use the calculator to solve this. Okay, um, let's go for the equation. And unknown is uh, just 1 quadratic equation, degree is 2. So 2 and then a is 1, b is minus 5, c is minus 24, okay, n equal to 8 and minus 3, okay, I using the calculator, this is definitely using the calculator, okay, if you like to uh, use the middle term break or some other things, then it's going to be 24 uh, times 1, that's minus, is minus 24, 8 times 3, so that's the, yeah, this one, this pair. Okay, it's minus 24, this pair. This is just to show you. I don't want to do this all the way. Minus 8n plus 3n minus 24. Okay, now you can go from here. Now, n cannot be negative 3 because in our Cambridge CIE exams, uh, n, we usually take positive integers value. So not fraction, not negative. So n over here is going to be 8. That's our answer. Okay. All right, seven is done. Let's do number eight. All right, question number eight. It says the graph of this, that's the nonlinear equations, cuts the x-axis at a, x-axis, no, sorry, y-axis at a, uh, this one, y-axis at a, the graph, y equal to the same graph, and this linear graph, cut one another at the point a and b, the line BC, BC is perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, pretty good, x-axis. Calculate the area of the shaded region, this one, enclosed by the curve and the line AB, showing on your working. Okay, fine. We need to find out the coordinates of AB. Okay, so this two line, this is linear line, this is, uh, uh, this is linear line, this is the curve, parabola. Okay, they are intersecting at two points. So let's do this, Y equal to x plus 10 and y equals to x square minus 6x plus 10. So what I'm going to do, y, y equals to x square minus 6x plus 10 equal to x plus 10. Plus 10 plus 10 cross out. If I bring this one over here, x square minus 7x equal to 0. Now take x common. So x minus 7, I got two values x equal to 0 and 7. Now on y-axis, x equal to 0. Okay. On y-axis, x equals to 0. So it doesn't matter which equation I use, this one or this one. Okay. y is going to be, if I put x equal to 0, y equal to 10. y equal to 10. So coordinates of a is 0, 10. I'll just write down over here, 0, 10. Okay. Coordinates of a. Now coordinates of B. Over here, uh, B's x coordinates is 7. Okay. 
and doesn't matter here uh, it's easier to use the value of seven over here so i i won't have to do this so many work okay uh, now y equals to seven plus ten equal to seventeen so coordinates of b is going to be seven seventeen so that's seven seventeen since this is perpendicular the x coordinates of c is going to be seven and on x axis y equal to zero so that's the coordinates of c all right we got everything here okay now what we need to do we need to find out area over here you can see that this is since this is a 90 degree perpendicular over here this is also 90 degree and uh, this a o c b that's make a trapezium and we have this areas over here so if i uh, to get this shaded region area of the shaded region if i subtract this white area inside the uh, trapezium from the area of the trapezium then i'm gonna get that that's what i'm gonna do okay so required shaded region area of required shaded region okay what i'm gonna do area of the trapezium minus okay that i have to do integration okay and integration what this curve line okay that's x square minus 6x plus 10 dx but this range of x should be 0 to 7 so 0 to 7 now this area of the trapezium would be uh, half you know that area of the trapezium i'll just write down the formula area of trapezium is half a plus b h a and b are the parallel line okay so over here parallel line is going to be difference in y axis okay that's 17 minus 0 that's 17 plus this one 10 minus 0 origin is 0, 0, 0. so 10 minus 0 is 10 okay and this perpendicular distance okay that's the difference in x coordinates 7 minus 0 that's 7 that's my area of the trapezium and over here if i integrate that x is cubed divided by 3 minus 6 x squared divided by 2 i hope you know this 10 x and then the limit is 0 to 7 okay so this one 17 27 I'll just do that 27 times 7 divided by 2 I got 94.5 for this part over here and here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna replace the value of X with 7 first so 7 to the power 3 divided by 3 then minus 6 this is gonna be 3 3 times 7 square is 49 plus 10 times 7 is 70 okay so actually i got um, one one two by three over here and minus if i replace that by zero it's zero everything okay so that 94.5 minus this i got um actually 57 whole one by six and it didn't say centimeter no it didn't so it's uh, area square in it or uh, if you want the answer in decimal then 57.2 in three significant figures okay square unit okay that's it okay. i hope you understand this if you have any question leave in the comment box okay i'll get back to you thank you oh i'm not uh, i'm sorry i haven't finished it i'm gonna go to number nine